Welcome to another video. This is the motherboard out of a mega PC made by Amstrad. Nothing too special about it. However, this one I believe is going to be the best one there is. This little fellow over here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Focus, focus, focus. Look at that. Texas Instruments 486 50 megahertz. I'm going to try and put that in place of uh, this little fellow here. The AMD 25 megahertz 386. Now this this it is a 486, but uh, it's more like a very crippled 486. So I'm doing it for the megahertz more than anything. Uh, there's also a bit of bit more cache. I don't think this one has any cache at all, so this should have some sort of cache. And as we all know, cache makes a pretty big difference in the world of CPUs. So that's the aim. I have no experience in desoldering this sort of package. I've had uh, minor success with removing these type of chips off uh, PCBs, but uh, not these little... Uh, four-sided beauties. I'm just thankful it's a bit smaller than that one there. That one's even bigger. Oh god, there's, there's heaps of huge chips on here. I'm, I'm very happy that the CPU is so small and quite possibly energy efficient. So stay tuned and uh, the next video you see should be of me desoldering that AMD chip. Wish me luck. It's time to try and desolder this chip. Let's see how we go. 25 pins per side, one heat gun, and a flat blade screwdriver. So give this a try. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Starting to lift. Okay, we're getting some lift, which is very good. Uh, let's try a different side. Lift everywhere. The board is quite hot. So I'm going to let it cool for a little bit. It's because I don't want to melt anything in the vicinity. Ow, 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 Don't really want to melt anything. So we'll uh, be back in a minute. Okay, it hasn't cooled down that much, but I don't have any patience. My dinner's nearly ready. Okay, so that entire side there has lifted, which is fantastic. Give it a bit of spin around. Have we go at these two sides now. These are very good little corners for uh, putting a flat blade under. Makes the whole process significantly easier. Ooh, wow, we've got some lift there. Swing it back around. And, uh... See what we can do to this last side. Last corner.
Flat blade with a left hand is never easy when you're a right-hander. Cruel, cruel fate. Ooh. Lift off. Hot. Chip removed. And there you have it. I've damaged maybe ooh, maybe one track. Lifted one track. So let's have a look at my work here. Focus. Three eight six SX. Well, that's what was on there. As you can see, there is one track that is a worry. This little fella up here. Looks sort of lifted. The rest though look to be uh, pretty good. It's a pretty good job. Now I can sell this CPU to those people who like to buy them. Just collect the chips themselves. Wow, oh, it's really hot. It's pretty boring on the underside. So many uh, assumptions on this upgrade. One of the big ones is that it will even work. But uh, while they do look very similar, just hoping they're similar enough to be exactly the same mechanically. Now I've got to work out how to solder it back onto the board and also the orientation of the chip. Uh, according to the notch on the AMD chip, uh, it's in a different corner to this one, so this one should be installed like that. I'm just going to guess. Why couldn't they have... Texas Instruments, why didn't you use a cool notch like AMD did? Look at that. Very nice. Very smooth. So, on with the mod. Now I've got to clean the pads and uh, get rid of the uh, excess solder on there. And then we can move on. Next step cleaning the solder pads. So, what you need for that is a soldering iron, sponge, solder stand if you want, and some. Uh, uh, what's this stuff called? Internet, help me out. Desolder braid, there we go, thanks internet. And of course some solder. Now I've just got a beveled tip, which is uh, quite flat, and I'll want to tin that first. Just add a little bit to the end, if it's working, there we go. So you've got a bit on the end, and then you just hit it on the sponge. I don't know if the sponge is in shot but you just wipe it on the sponge until it's clean, add a bit more, and wipe it off again, and it's nice and tinned. So, what we want to do is use the desoldering braid to remove all the left behind solder that the original CPU left. So we just put the braid over it and apply heat. In theory, that should work. The other guy making videos had exactly that. It hasn't worked for me, so I'll just have to keep playing here. Oh, it works! Well, there you go. This is uh, only a 25 watt soldering iron. I had to change because uh, the other one, I couldn't get the, uh, the tip out. It was sort of fused in with the... Uh... Yeah, it wasn't good. So, so far I've done about five pins, so I'll just keep doing that. Scratchy. 
Oh wow, that's incredible. Now I know how this stuff works. Bevel tip. So there we go, so there's four sides, so that's one of them. Excellent. Now I've got to be very careful of that lifted leg. Looks like it's pin 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, about 56, 57. So I'll do that side last. And I put the tip in back to front. This soldering iron cable wants to go the other way. It's all good. Uh oh, soldered the braid to the board. <laughs> Stuff's fantastic. Another clear side. Fantastic. Given how well this is going, there's almost certain failure when I when I put the CPU back on. Things never go this good. This way. So that's two sides clear, one to go. CPU even in frame. Oh God. Yeah, that's better. Wish I had an autofocus camera. A bit of heat. Fantastic. Wow, this braid's absorbing a bit of heat. It's starting to burn my finger. <coughs> ow. Ow, ow. It's all good. Now the last side with that lifted leg. Start up the top. Do the easy ones. No, the legs sort of stuck back down again. Ow! Wow, it really gets hot. Just a few more little bits to go. <clears throat> Pardon me. See if you can guess the tune in the background. If you can hear it. <coughs> no, I can. <coughs> Alright, so once that's all desoldered, just give your soldering iron another tin. You can see lots of tinning going on. Probably added way too much now. We'll wipe it off onto the uh, sponge. Get burnt by a piece of stray solder. Why? Oh, it melted to the... Ow. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's melted to the side of my soldering.